special uh, the day that we were in California and I was shopping with Mackenzie and I knew nothing about Greg. And from behind the store, out of the blue, she piped up and said, Mom, I like someone. Which was odd because she'd been focused on herself for so long and going to school and her relationship with God. And she said it again. And she goes, no, Mom, I really, really like someone. I'm just extremely happy for my sister. I, I've known she's always wanted this like so many people do and to finally have it and to be able to have that for the rest of your life is so special. So for me, for example, it makes me emotional because I even listening to Kenzie talk about her story with Greg makes me tear up because I know it's something so special and it makes me so happy for them. As a mom, when I look at the love that Mackenzie and Greg share, uh, my heart just melts because I see two young, very special individuals who love God first. And um, if I could say one thing to my daughter on her wedding day, I would just tell her how very proud I am of the young woman she's become. Mackenzie, one of the happiest days of my life was when I got to adopt you and your sister, and you took the name Sturm, and we all became Sturms together. You know, Jesus has always been faithful and true in my life, through the good times and the bad, and I knew at a very young age that I was made to be a wife, with the kind of love that I have in my heart. I had a moment in my emerging adulthood where I was going through something, tears rolling down my cheeks, and my dad grabbed me by the shoulders and said, we are gonna get through this. It was in that moment when I made the decision that from here moving forward, I was gonna be okay with being alone, with just me, and I was gonna make Jesus the love of my life first. For about three years, I trusted that in God's time, he would provide that perfect person for me. Then along came Greg. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you plans to give you hope and a future. I had tears rolling down my face and I said, Lord, if he is not meant for me, take him out of my life. But if he is meant for me, I will trust you. I fell in love with Greg for his patience. There was a lot of waiting. I fell in love with Greg for how soft and kind he was with me. And man, can he make me laugh. I fell in love with Greg, most of all because he loves the Lord. Having a partner that is saved and loves Jesus the way you do, man, there's nothing better than that. He's my best friend. I couldn't imagine doing this life with anyone else. Greg, as you place this ring on Kinsey's finger, repeat these words after me. With this ring, with this ring, I be with, I be with, all that I have, all that I have, and all that I am, and all that I am. I give to thee. I give to thee. In the name of God the Father. In the name of God the Father. God the Son. God the Son. And God the Holy Spirit. And God the Holy Spirit. For I now pronounce you husband and wife. Greg, you may kiss your God. Last night we were in bed and we were about to go to bed and we were exhausted. It was me and Kenzie last night. We were like chilling there. And she was like, I still get goosebumps every time Greg looks at me. <laughs> and it was just the cutest thing ever because it's like I hope that I hope that never goes away. And I know it won't with you too. But I just, I, I prayed for my sister to find a man, Greg, and you stepped into her life at the right time, and she prayed for you too, and um, you have been 
the brother that I've always wanted and you have stepped in in so many parts in our lives, even when uh, our parents decided to go to Africa and we're like, let's fry Greg out. And you stayed with us for a week. And I knew, I was like, that's gonna be my brother right there. I love you, Mackenzie, Michelle, Marie, and I love you. Congratulations. Can't wait to see you guys in the future grow. I just love you so much. She was pretty adamant on you know, being just friends. And I was I was like, yeah. I'm okay with that, but I still like you. I was I was sure that she knew that, um, <laughs> and it uh, it took quite a while. And a year ago, I, I got to meet her. It was one of the greatest greatest moments of my life. And a year later, here we are. <laughs> 